regulator and supervisor regulator and supervisor of the financial system a regulator and supervisor of the financial system that means the entire financial system the entire banking system is regulated and supervised by rbi we saw the online banking system neft rtgs imps in which imps was maintained by npci but still the entire online system is supervised and monitored by rbi sabki maa hai jo sabko dekh rahi that is the reserve bank of india fine so regulator and supervisor of the banking sector of the financial market of the financial system entire financial system so it includes it includes prescribing broad parameters prescribing broad parameters of banking operations of banking operations within which the banking and financial system operates and financial system operates the broad objective of this function the broad objective of this function is maintaining public confidence maintaining public confidence in the system and protecting depositors interests depositors interests the entire banking system is working on the depositors when they deposit the money into the banking sector then only they can lend and the entire investment is dependent on the deposits so if you cannot maintain confidence in the banking system if you cannot maintain public confidence in the system and if you cannot protect the depositors interest the entire banking system will collapse and if there is no banking system there is no credit creation there is no investment there can be no regulation through the rbi can be no regulation to the money supply fine so that is the reason why we gave this very specific function to rbi to regulate and supervise the financial system